Hey, my name is Gaffrey, I'm a freelance motion designer, stick around. In this After Effects tutorial series, I will show you how to create this creative motion graphics. In the first part, we will focus on creating the main blob and the outer shell. Exciting, so let's get started. First of all, create a new composition by pressing Ctrl N. Give it any name, I will call it animation. It should be for HD, 30 FPS and around 10 seconds long. Then create another new composition by pressing Ctrl N and this time call it main blob. Inside the main blob composition, you will double click on the rectangle tool to create a new shape layer. Then go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Let's call the shape background. Change the color to a bright red and leave the other one white and just change the anchor points so it will look like this. Then select the ellipse tool, create a circle just like this, center the anchor point and center it to the middle. Then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D, drag it like this, change the color and turn off the stroke, then duplicate it one more time, increase the scale by pressing S, duplicate it again, decrease the scale, duplicate it again, increase it, duplicate it again, and just do that couple of times. Maybe this is enough. Let's also reposition everything a little bit more. Just like this looks fine. And let's change the colors of this, of these circles. And then this big one here, let's give it a maybe a dark red or Bordeaux red whatever. And let's put it on top of all the other circles. Let's delete the first circle. Then go to effects and presets and search for turbulent displays and drag it onto your dark red circle and just increase the amount. Maybe something like this, then create a new null object, call it master rotation, then select all of your circles and parent it to your master rotation, then press R, press Alt and click on the stopwatch and then you're gonna write this expression time times 30, so it will always rotate like this. Then let's go into our animation con, drag in your main blob, then add a turbulent displays, make the amount minus 45, duplicate the turbulent displays, and make it plus 45, then also add a fast box blur on top of the turbulence, make the blur radius to around, let's say, 45 maybe or 46. Then also add curves to it. Just drag the curve to around this. Then select the ellipse tool and draw a circle just like this. Let's call it main mask. Let's change the color to orange and the main block to cyan. Let's center the anchor point of the circle and also center the circle and make the main block to an alpha mat. So now it will look like this. Let's also give the main mask a Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness by four. So now we got this animation and let's change a bit 
the circles. Let's make them bigger. So we also will have something in the middle. So everything will look smoother. Smoother. Maybe let's push them a little bit apart. So we can see the circuits better. Just like this. Yeah, that looks cool. So now let's create the outer shell. For that, you just have to create a new composition again by pressing Ctrl N. Let's call it outer shell. So select the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle just like this. And then just duplicate it two times and just drag them down to something like this. So this one will be blue. This one will be pink, pinkish. And this one will be a bright red. This one has to be above the red one. Let's get the blue one. Maybe let's switch the blue one with the pink one. Something like this. And let's drag them a little bit down. And let's give the blue one fast box blur. And let's change the blur radius to around 5. Then search for wave warp. Drag it onto your blue one. The wave height to maybe 29. This one has to be, let's say, something like this looks good. Let's also change the angle. Maybe to, yeah, let's, let's say this. Change the wave speed. Perfect. Maybe also the pinning to all edges, so it will look better. And then just copy the wave warp and paste it to the other ones. And just change the settings a little bit so they will not look the same. And also the red one. Maybe let's decrease this. Yeah, that looks good. Then go again into your animation, drag in the outer shell, then go to effects and presets and search for polar coordinates, drag it onto your outer shell, make the interpolation to 100 and the type of conversion to rect to polar and increase the size to something like this. And now we also see that we have to change the height of those. Let's pull them down. So we will have some more color variation. Maybe just like this could be cool. Okay, that's too much again. Maybe here we can see, yeah, now we also see some bluish colors. And we also just decrease these ones. Just like this. Nice. Now we got some more color. But let's pull them a little bit more up. Yeah, that looks good. And then also add a fast box blur. To your outer shell, make the blur radius to around 5. Let's maybe also increase the scale of those masks. Let's make them bigger. Okay, 
now we actually have to pull it up okay now we just see red we don't want to see red nice so now we also have to pull the blue one down so we will have also you can also see through the outer shell which will give us a pretty cool looking effect and also make it brighter nice so we will have this sort of animation which looks actually pretty cool for me so this was how to create the main blob and the outer shell on the right side i've added videos you may like so see you there on the right side you can subscribe and ring the bell to not miss the next video. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you so much for watching.